हे गाइस वेलकम टू क्वांट लैब क्वांट लैब में आपका स्वागत है इन सम ऑफ द प्रीवियस वीडियोस आई हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट हाउ टू गेट मार्केट डेटा यूजिंग एपीआईज पाइथन वेब हुक्स डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ मेथड्स द लिंक टू दैट वुड बी समवेयर हियर इन दिस वीडियो आई वांट टू गो अ लिटिल मोर फर्दर एंड शो अ सिंपल डेमो हाउ कैन यू वर्क विद अस ब्रोकर इन इंडिया द ब्रोकर दैट आई एम गोना टेक इज थान बिकॉज़ आई हैव एन अकाउंट विद इट देयर इज नो अदर रीजन आल्सो देयर एपीआईज आर फ्री the same would work for any other broker i think i have talked about zerodha brokers before you if you want an account and if you want to work with free apis you can open an account the link to that would be in my description and uh, let's get started so so basically it's it's relatively simple with than i'll just do a walk through and uh, we'll show you some sample code as well so uh, what you need to do what what can you do right you can place bulk orders you can place advanced orders you can place do work with margins and you can also get market data now there is a little bit of pricing involved which i will show you once i'm i'm in the terminal so you can either use apis to work with dhan or you can connect it to trading view or anything like that i think dhan is the only provider in india which connects directly to trading view which is amazing so they have all of this api documentation which is great you can just go check api documentation there's a dhan python client which we will use now but i'll just want to show you that different sort of options are available you can also work with apis so let's say you want to get consent the, the this documentation is very very good you can see how to do orders portfolio trading control funds and data apis and historical data apis all of that all of that is very readily available in here all right so this is the api doc which is than.co and uh, i think if you just search for yeah than. than.hq.co go to api docs this is where you land they also have a sandbox which if you click will show you much more deeper setting it will show you all parameters and option it will show you sample examples it will go deep into each of the different you know options each of the different parameters you can it will talk about all the you know permutations combinations you can get the values that it takes the responses it will have it will even give you a description of the field it will show your data models etc so this is like a complete api doc if you want to work with it now let's hop on to the platform itself so this is my dhan account uh, this is at home you go to than hq trading apis which is this and here in here what you have is two actually four options so you have trading apis you have data apis then you have partners and then it shows connected applications we are interested in the first trading apis and second data apis data apis are locked both of these are actually locked but they are immediately unlocked the moment you click subscribe now data apis are charged at 499 per month plus taxes but they give you real time market feed and you have historical data across exchanges i don't know to what extent and to how long back the data apis go so i cannot comment on that but i am right now only working with trading apis so all you need to do is click new token put in an application name like python or anything like that set the token validity now tokens are your gateway and access mechanisms to brokers so make sure you don't share these tokens i know mine is literally visible on the screen but i'm just going to revoke it immediately after i have done the video right so set your token validity in the way you need and you can have a post back url as well if you require uh, you know to to submit some sort of a payload etc and it depends on the access level but we are not going to talk about that so application name access token and expiry and then finally the last thing we need to do is go to dhan hq hyphen py which is the s python official client and this is a very very clean neat and clean client uh, completely documented all you need to do is just copy the code live market feed some of the key features live market feeds are completely based on web socket so they operate in a async mode and they'll run forever keep sending your data so really really low latency web sockets again i haven't tested it so will not be able to comment there's unlimited instruments per socket and you can establish up to 5 sockets per user so what you basically can do is you can have different watch lists and you can you know start to stream that data or whatever you feel like and with market feed you can subscribe the data either in the ticker data format quota data or market depth depending on whatever you want the apis or the sdk itself goes 
all the way from eDays, fund limit, historical data, portfolio to order management. All you need to do is pip install Dhan HQ and I'll show you how, how, how it's working. So let me hop over to PyCharm. So you do a pip install Dhan HQ and I've just installed it and it basically just install a Python library. You do from Dhan HQ, import Dhan HQ. I don't know why they keep adding HQ everywhere, but sure. You instantiate it. Basically, you create an object. Dhan is equals to Dhan HQ. Python tests the name of the client that you created and the token here. And then you can just keep running the different objects. So for instance, if I do just do a get holdings, it list all the holdings that I have. Like for instance, I have Tata Motors. Uh, I have Nifty Bees. And yeah, those are the two things that I have right now. I, this is like a not a live account it's more used for training and learning purposes you can get order list if you are if you have placed any order or if you have active orders but i don't have any you can get a trading history also from here so this is a good uh, api which i really liked and it will basically give you the entire trading history between two time periods if the number of pages increase and there's a lot of trades that i've done here so just for you know learning purposes so so it will give you all the history of trades and basically it's just straightforward and simple to it do it uh, how do you do order placement you do place order you mention the security id you mention the exchange you specify the transaction type the, the basic stuff right what sort of order type you have what's the product type uh, how many quantities you have what's the price and you know you can check the apis for more parameters and up after you have placed different order types like you know futures and options mcx etc etc they have given you samples for all of them you can look at different operations as well like you can get orders by correlations you can do time conversions get trade history which is what i showed you can even generate t pin you can get fund limits like let me try what fund limits i have i i don't even know uh, yeah so just withdrawal amount is 28 rupees uh, and there's no limit or anything because there are no collaterals in this right i haven't pledged any amount uh, market fees users is also very very simple you just pretty much do the same thing uh, there's a structure for it you can maximum 100 instruments can be subscribed and then you subscribe symbol function uh, this is the async operations that you need to do which is first it will connect to the web socket and second will receive and the moment you run this feed like feed run forever it's going to keep streaming your data and you can probably save it in the place so relatively easy conversation to work with this so if you are a uh, somebody who's looking to try some algos or if you want to quickly prototype stuff some stuff you can definitely do that all right so so that's pretty much what i wanted to do talk in the video if you like this video put in a thumbs up i'm trying to reach a target for the month of may to reach to 3000 subscribers please help if you have watched the video till end means you have liked it please subscribe thank you for watching bye bye